Extinction Rebellion protesters have been marching through central London today. It begins the group's 10 days of protest, part of an ongoing campaign to highlight climate change. Demonstrations have been held at landmarks across the capital. Sky's climate change correspondent Lisa Holland joins us now from Parliament Square. Hello to you, Lisa. What's happening there? Hello, sir. Yes, Parliament's back and so is Extinction Rebellion. The climate change movement, which has been understandably quiet throughout the pandemic, uh, is now gathering in Parliament Square here. Um, it's pretty peaceful. You can see people dancing, listening to the music. Hundreds here, maybe a thousand or so. Um, they've been marching here from various corners uh, around central London, such as Buckingham Palace, such as Trafalgar Square. Um, but it has to be said that there have been a small number of arrests so far today of people, I think, largely kind of blocking the roads. I mean, remember Parliament Square outside the Houses of Parliament in Westminster is um, a pretty central thoroughfare going right up towards Downing Street. Nobody can get around here at the moment. Um, police are just monitoring the situation, certainly not taking any kind of action to sort of clear the roads and move them on. Um, but I'm joined by a couple of ladies who've come down to join in this protest here today, Annie and Stephanie. Um, Annie, first to you, because this is not your first rodeo, as they say. You were involved in the protest last year and got yourself arrested. Um, are you prepared to go through all that again? Yes, I am, if, if, it, if it makes sense to do it. Um, unfortunately, it feels like that's the only way to get the government to pay attention. They're so distracted by firefighting. I mean, clearly COVID and Brexit are massive issues. But this is coming up like a tidal wave behind us. And we're just not looking, because we're always looking in the short term. So yeah, if I have to get arrested, I will. And the vast majority of people understand we're in a climate emergency, understand the importance of tackling climate change. But where it goes wrong for a lot of people is that some say that you alienate them by causing the kind of civil disobedience, the civil destruction which affects their lives, such as hitting the tubes last year, people not being able to go about their business and go about their work. You know, personally, as someone that got arrested last time around, are you able to offer them the reassurance that that level of disruption isn't going to happen again this time around? Well, I'm afraid, all I can say is that when climate change kicks in, the level of disruption is going to be off the scale. I mean, if you think what we did on the tubes matters, I'm sorry to feel emotional about this. It was justified because we are actually in the long run trying to save people. I mean, it, it's, yeah, what you've seen in terms of disruption is nothing. Do you know that the wheat harvest in Britain this year is 30% down because of severe weather? You know, let's think about this for a minute. Quick word over to you, Stephanie. You, this is your first time involved in Extinction Rebellion protests. Yeah. Just tell us why you come along today and why you're prepared to stand outside the Houses of Parliament. Because if not me, who? And if not now, when? I mean, it, this is a crisis right now that needs to be addressed right now. And people ask me all the time, well, we know there's a climate emergency, but what can I do about it? And, and there's one thing that people can do right now, and that's contact their local MP and beg them to support the new Climate and the Ecological Emergency Bill, which has been put before Parliament. All the work's been done for that bill by scientists, climatologists, academics. It's a fantastic piece of work that's been presented. And we just are asking them to debate it in Parliament. It's not a big ask, but it could be a game changer. Okay. Ladies, thank you so much indeed for taking time uh, to thank talk you. to us. So this is just the start, really. Maybe 10 days or so of protests ahead. Peaceful uh, at the moment, but I think we've heard from lots of people. I was talking to the um, co-founder of Extinction Rebellion an hour or so ago who was saying that actually they can't guarantee what the style of process will be or just how much disruption could be caused. Lisa, thank you. And we'll have a special programme focusing on climate change on Sky News next month. Climate after Covid, a green recovery.